morning dear students at the outset of my today's lecture i would like to welcome all of you who are from uh, dhaka college and different parts of bangladesh you know that uh, we are going with modifier in the meanwhile i have conducted six classes on modifier this is our seventh class on modifier and it will take some more classes to complete this term or complete this topic okay so the students uh, as far as you know we completed up to a relative or additive clause i talked about i started talking about actually non-finite verbs that means participle and i ca i completed up to the classification of participles along with the examples uh, let me repeat what i taught you in the last classes related to modifier actually i started with the definition of modifier you know the definition of modifier then i uh, told you the classification of modifier uh, and uh, I also showed you the question pattern, okay? And after that, I told you that under pre-modifier and under post-modifier, uh, there are some important grammatical items or devices or terms that we need to know if we want to get good marks in modifier part. And uh, I, I enlisted 11 grammatical items under pre-modifier and 5 grammatical items under post-modifier. We have started from the back. I have started with post modifier and you know that at the at the top of the list of post modifier there is a positive I clarified it I tried my less best to clarify it after a uh, positive I started with a uh, relative clause or adjective clause you know what relative clause and adjective clause is then I started participle today I'd like to have some more talking on participle you know that participle uh, belongs to the forms of verb actually participle is one kind of verb but all verbs are not participles participles are the forms of verbs but these participles always work as adjective you know that I talked about in my last class participles are of three types they are present participle past participle and perfect participle the students I told you that participles are of three types present participle past participle and perfect participle okay per present participle past participle and perfect participle are under participle participle is under non-finite verb I told you that non-finite verbs are of three types infinitive participle gerund I talked about infinitive, I talked about participle, I talked about gerund, okay? And uh, at the end of my last class, I talked about the difference between participle, present participle and gerund, okay? Uh, there is one uh, thing left. There is, sorry, not one thing. There are some uh, three topics or two topics left under post modifier. Today we will focus on, today we will focus on our, look at this. We were talking about post modifier. I completed a positive. I completed a positive. I completed relative or adjective clause. I have completed positive triple. Now it is our turn to talk about. adverb today we will focus on adverb so the students uh, let us be busy uh, because we want or i want a lot of answers from you today i will ask a lot of questions are you ready are you ready to give me the answer okay i'm sure all of you are ready look at the virtual board so today we will focus on adverb what is adverb who can tell me what is adverb what is adverb what is adverb dear students parts of species there are eight kinds of parts of species there are eight kinds of parts of species there noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition and conjunction there are eight kinds of parts of species there noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction and interjection today we will focus on adverb noun is a naming word as to a noun is a naming word pronoun is a substituting word 
adjective is a qualifying word, verb is a doing word, adverb is a dash word. What should be the answer? Who can tell me? Noun is a naming word, pronoun is a substituting word, verb is a doing word, adverb is a blah 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 blah. Tell me. I want all of my students to be very serious in terms of learning. Adverb is a dash word. What should be the answer here? Adverb is a dash word. Okay. Robular, you are absolutely right. Absolutely right. According to Robular, look at please what he has written. Yes, yes, thank you. Tasni Mamuni, you are absolutely correct. Onupam Bhoming, you are absolutely correct. Shajida, very good, excellent. Nafis and Islam, excellent, excellent. You have got me. Adverb is a modifying word. Adverb is a modifying word, okay? Okay. My question is, adverb is a modifying word. Very good. But what are the parts of space? What are the parts of spaces? What are the parts of space that are modified by adverb? Who can tell me? What are the parts of space that are modified by adverb? You have told me that adverb is a modifying word. But I have a very, very easy question. What kind of parts of space are usually modified by adverb? Who can tell me? Yes. I'm, I'm looking, uh, sir, maybe it is a last online class. Yes, it is. I will be among you in the classroom activities of Dhaka College. I'm eagerly waiting for your attendance or presence, okay? According to Nafis and Islam, adjective, adverb modifies adverb, adjective and verbs, nothing else. Okay, let me tell you. Noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, Interjection, okay. I have written the names of uh, eight parts of space, but uh, let me tell you which parts of space are usually modified by adverb. If Fajan Sabuni, sir, we will miss Dhaka College classes, definitely, uh, but uh, don't forget that we will be, we will be by you, okay. Look at please. Adverb modifies adjective, absolutely correct, absolutely correct. Adverb modifies verb. Absolutely correct. Noun and pronoun. Look at please, just to end. Here is an interesting story. The responsibility of noun and pronoun, the responsibility of noun and pronoun depends on the shoulder of adjective. What have I told you? The responsibility of noun and pronoun depends on adjective. That means adjective qualifies noun and pronoun. If if noun and pronoun is influenced or qualified by a single parts of space, that parts of space must be an adjective. Okay? So, noun and pronoun can only be qualified by adjective. Okay? There are six parts of space left. What are they? Adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. Okay, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection can also be modified by adverb. So, adverb is a very strong part of space. Am I right? So, my dear students, 
adverb is such a part of speech, adverb is the modifying word, adverb is such a part of speech, so it modifies every part of speech of a word, uh, sentence except noun and pronoun. And adverb is such a part of speech which influences any other part of speech of, of a sentence except noun and pronoun. I am going to repeat, an adverb is such a part of speech as modifies every part of speech of a sentence except noun and pronoun okay an adverb the students an adverb can even modify a sentence an adverb can even modify a sentence okay look at i'm going to give an example Fortunately, I could avail myself Fortunately, I could avail myself of the train. Our, which one? I have, I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have written 8 parts of space, okay? Do you get or have you got or have you noticed any adverb in this sentence? Have you noticed any adverb in this sentence, my dear students? Write in the comment box. Sadia alaikum aslam, write the answer, please. Do you find any adverb in this sentence? Reza, according to Reza, fortunately, according to Nafisimba, fortunately, Ashfika, fortunately. Eh? We have got, we have got 214 viewers right now, but we have got only 8 or 10 answers. Why? The rest of the students are unable to give me the answer. Okay, which one is the, which one is the adverb in this sentence? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nuruddin Sharkar, a very regular student. Alamin, Bartholomew. PT, PT scars. What does it mean? Alamin. Sultan Mahmud. Fortunately. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need a lot of answers. Only 244 comments are here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, here, fortunately, is that verb. But another question for you. Which part of this sentence is being modified by fortunately? Which part of this sentence is being modified by fortunately? Is my question clear to you? Can anyone tell me which part of this sentence or which parts of this sentence is or are influenced or modified by fortunately? Okay, tell me. Nafi is very good, excellent. All but yes, yes, you are absolutely correct. Um, Mahiyan Kobir, a newcomer, I think. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent, Ashfika, Tausia Zaman, Narobilal. How is the person fortunate? Because of the whole incident, okay? Thank you, my dear students. We have got adverb, but we will give you a lot of, a lot of questions related to adverb. Adverb is a modifying word. Do, do you know the classification of adverb, dear students? Do you know the classification of adverb? Do you know the classification of adverb? Do you know the classification of adverb, my dear students? According to Shahi Tasnim Mamuni, three. What are they? What are they? If, if Arita, first time I have seen you. No, you don't know. You don't know the classification of adverb. Why not? Robiulal, can you tell me the Robiulal? Can you tell me the classification of adverb? Okay, write down in the comment box. 
I know, but I will not write. You have to tell me. What is the difference between verb and adverb? It's a very silly question. You know that. Verb is a doing word and adverb is a modifying word. I don't know. I have forgotten. Shami Mahamba Dharan, you have forgotten. I will make you simple adverb, interrogative adverb, relative adverb. Thank you. Simple adverb, relative adverb, interrogative adverb. Simple adverb, relative adverb, and interrogative adverb. Very good. Now, my next question. My next question, okay? This one and this one are not important for modified part, but this one is very important. Questions are usually given from simple adverb, okay? Uh, another question from you. Another question from you. Uh, do you know the classification of simple adverb? Very interesting question. Adverbs are of three types. They are simple adverb, relative adverb, and interrogative adverb. Okay. Uh, do you know the classification of simple adverb? How many kinds are there under simple adverb? Okay. Tell me. Who are there? Yes, she have. Yes, there are eight kinds of simple adverb. Eight. What are they? What are they? Horito, I will tell you adverbial. I will tell you. No problem. Horita, uh, uh, you know that we will uh, talk about phrase. While I will be talking about phrase, I will clarify adverb, adverbial phrase, everything. Okay. You have to wait. So there are eight kinds, eight kinds under simple adverb. For example, I will not talk about all kinds of simple adverb. For example, adverb of adverb of time, adverb of manner, adverb of place, adverb of degree, adverb of frequency okay adverb of degree adverb time manner place degree frequency okay then adverb of suppose negation okay adverb of cause and effect adverb of cause and effect you can say sorry assertion and negation adverb of cause and effect one adverb is let which one adverb of order okay you know actually i will have a lot of questions from these classifications look at please let me give you some question first question i will we will uh, have a lot of questions under adverb okay we visited the seashore post post modify the verb okay tell me the answer this was tell me the answer Uh, we visited the seashore, blah, 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 post modify the verb. You have to modify visited. But look at please. If you want to visit modify, uh, sorry, if you want to visit, uh, if you want to modify visit, you have to. 
you can use you can use adverb of time adverb of place adverb of manner blah 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 everything okay now write down the answer uh, sorry recently is not an answer if you use recently recently is such an adverb which requires present perfect tense you have to use present perfect tense this is a uh, past indefinite tense is it clear my dear students those who are taking recently as the answer you are or they are absolutely incorrect because recently always takes present perfect tense but i have used past indefinite my dear students i have i have told you to use an adverb not an adverbial clause okay long since last month a week ago after he left previous day last week all of them are adverbial phrase just give me one single word if you put more than one words or word it will be an adverbial phrase okay so give me one 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 word that will be working as adverb yes you can use the answer is yesterday clear to you we visited the sister soon okay we visited the seashore instantly. We visited the seashore immediately. Anything else? Anything else, my dear students? We visited the seashore, suppose. suddenly okay so i have told you that i have told you that my dear students if you are told if you are asked to use an adverb please use a single word if you use more than one word that group of word will work as phrase or phrase and it might be adverbial phrase okay another question for you My next question. The program was telecast. Post. Post modify the verb. With. Adverb of post modify the verb with adverb of manner. Now tell me the answer. It the program was telecast, blah 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 blah. Post modify the verb with an adverb of manner. What should be the answer? Now tell me. Now tell me, dear students. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, now my students are very, very silent. Why, why, why? Yes, yes, yes. Nazmus Shakib Tanvir. My dear students, of different corner of corners of bangladesh uh, don't be sad at all this, the teachers of dhaka college have tried their best to help the students on, of not only dhaka college but also from but also of different institutions of bangladesh um, if we get opportunities again and again we will be beside you okay the program was telecast blah 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 
yes 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 hurry up this is excellent answer we are getting excellent answers okay openly justly easily very good i think uh, most of you have good conception regarding adverb by the students roman shankar from carmichael college jongpol very good i have a lot of friends working as teachers in carmichael college rangpur can i write the program was telecast live can i write it my dear students can i write it okay very good you are absolutely correct some more questions let me talk about Adverb of degree. Adverb of degree. It is usually called. It is usually called. It is usually called intensifier. Dear students. Intensifier. Ashwika is from Russia College. Very good. Adverb of degree is usually called intensifier intensifier okay intensifier is really important for modifier part okay i'm not lifting my dear student this is a virtual board if i write with my right hand it seems to you that i am a lefty but if i use this hand um, that is my left hand you will think that i am i always write with right hand okay okay my dear students adverb of degree adverb of degree what do you mean by adverb of degree and it is also called intensifier okay in bengali it's called matta matta if any word expresses degree of something that means matta it will be called intensifier for example and this adverb this intensifier is an adverb mind it okay for example Our Rajib sir is it's pre modifier. Pre modify the adjective with intensifier our register is dash furious okay what should be the answer sure of khan you are from dc i will meet you as soon as possible rana is from ajiz block college i visited Bogura for about 50 times of my life. Okay. Rajiv sir, uh, our Rajiv sir is dash furious. Very, only very. That my dear students are taking just one answer. That is very. Aren't there some alternative answers? Very, very, only very. Musabiz Roman, are you busy with very? Give me a lot of words. Mahi and Kabir, what have I written? Asgarli from Nabab Gans Government College. So, very good. Some of you have written very, some of you have written so. Can I, so. Very. Oh my God, extremely. I am afraid with the answers of Nafiz Iqbal. Nafiz, am I extremely furious or angry? Are you sure? <laughs> Mahi and Kabir, you haven't seen my fury or anger. 
that's good very good okay very 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 all if you're waiting can i write quite can quite be taken an answer abundantly my god less <laughs> excellent for your answers my dear students sadia sadia much sadia much uh, much much you are uh, just giving us okay no problem no physical no problem no physical okay okay thank you I think uh, you have got intensifier, okay? Some more examples under intensifier. Some more examples, okay? I will, now, I am going to write some sentences. And in the sentences, there will be gaps. And you have to fill in the blanks with intensifier or adverb or degree, okay? So, my dear students, is the color of, is the color visible to all of you? <laughs> okay, the students who are from outside Dhaka College, the students who are from outside Dhaka College are requested to visit Dhaka College after the classes are in the classroom, okay. I would request the students of other institutions of Bangladesh to meet Dhaka College, to visit Dhaka College, okay? And uh, we will be, I will be there for you, no problem. So, try to pay a visit to Dhaka College, all of you are invited, okay? But after 12, okay? Don't come in groups, because we have to maintain hygiene, strictly. The authority of Dhaka College has taken a decision that, we will maintain hygiene very strictly, okay? Look at please. I surely will. And this is great. <laughs> very good, no problem. Now, uh, I'm going to give you some sentences and in the sentences there will be some blanks and in the blanks you have to use adverb of degree or intensifier, okay? The mango is dash. The mango is dash ripe. The mango is dash ripe, okay? Mm. I became, I became dash. Exhausted. A village doctor. A village doctor is a dash. Familiar figure. Okay. So, A, B, C, D. If the authority remained dash strict, If the authority remained that strict, the students might not be dash. Helpless. I have given you four 
I have given you four sentences. Okay. Just give me the answer. Hurry up. Just give me the answer. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, now I am interested in uh, noticing your comments. A absolutely good. Ronnie, Mia, thank you. Nuruddin Shorka, thank you. Raufur Rahim, thank you. Shamim Loni, should I use this color? Should I use this color? Or I think I should use green or pink, am I right? Tanvir Ahmed for Nobab Gaz Government College. Yes, yes, tell me, tell me, tell me, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, give me the answer. Uh, now, a lot of a lot of viewers have remained or have been very silent because I think you are not able to give me the answer. Why not? Try to try your best and answers will be there. Uh, during the admission test of Russia University, this year, I will visit Russia. Ashfika Bintazis. Okay, okay. Alamin, completely, very, very, so extremely, yes. Thank you, thank you. Nafis, thank you. Rana, thank you. Rana, you have, writ you have written for, for at least two, uh, 10 times that you are from Bogura. Thank you. Now give me the answer, Rana. Muhammad Raihanul Rana, give me the answer. <laughs> Rana, you have again written. Why, my dear student? Rana, stop writing. Okay, look at their students. Look at this. The mango is, if I write, almost, if I write, very, if I write, the mango is very ripe, quite. Oh, you entered. I became dash exhausted. I became very exhausted. I became quite exhausted. I became extremely exhausted. Okay. The a village doctor is a very familiar figure, quite familiar figure, okay? If the authority remained dash strict, quite, extremely, very, very, okay? Thank you. I think you have, I think you have been able to understand intensifier or adverb of manner, okay? My last question on adverb, uh, sorry, adverb, or you can say, my last question on adverb, look at please, look at the virtual board. Some. Sorry, sorry, extremely sorry. There's a spelling mistake. Some careless people cut down trees. This is question number B. Post modify the verb. Okay, give me the answer. Give me the answer. Yes, yes. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We have got nine, three, five comments today. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, please. Randomly, randomly. Good. Uh, today is Wednesday. 
वेनेसडे थर्सडे फ्राइडे सैटरडे ट्वेल्थ सेप्टेम्बर इज इट सैटरडे और संडे इज इट सैटरडे और संडे माई डे स्टूडेंट ट्वेल्थ सेप्टेम्बर Today is calendar. Uh, I have another class on Saturday, my dear students. I have another class on Saturday, so don't forget to attend the class. Don't forget, please. So we will have another class on 11th September. Okay, we will continue modifier. Oh my God, Mahfuza, it's your birthday. Mafuzoner, we are we are expecting a great treat from you. Okay. Shamin Johnny, thank you, thank you, Shamin. Have you given me the answer? Quick, quick. What is quick? Arnob. Okay, you have written. Can I rewrite randomly? Can I write unconsciously? Can I write unwisely? Can I write anything else? Relentlessly. Wow. Sorry, sorry. Relentlessly. Okay. Anything else? Okay. If I, the students, if I change the question, post modify the verb with adverbial phrase. Post modify the verb with adverbial phrase. What should be the answer? Uh, indiscriminately is a very good answer if I need to use adverb. Now tell me the answer. Post modify the verb with adverbial phrase. Now the answer should be. Uh, Shaiman, your happy birthday to you, and we are expecting a great treat from you. Unscrupulously. Very good. Nuruddin Shankar. Excellent. Excellent answer. Excellent. Nafiz Iqbal, I taught you to write without consideration. At random is a very good answer. Day by day. Day by day, day by day. If you use day by day, you need present continuous tense. If I uh, can I write at random, can I write? without consideration anything else at an alarming date yes you can write it you can okay in an unscrupulous way good very good uh mr mr nihal mr uh, uh, Robilal, you people have used one single word. I have I have wanted from you to write adverbial phrase. Here, you are not allowed to use any adverb. You have to use adverbial phrase. Clear to you? Whenever you are told to modify uh, modify a verb or adjective or adverb, you need to use adverb. But if you are told to use adverbial phrase, you must have to use more than one word so that it can be a phrase. Okay. Uh, is my message clear to, up to, uh, clear to you up to this part? I have one topic left and that is phrase. Let me touch phrase today. Let me touch phrase today. And uh, I completed one phrase. I think infinitive phrase. 
what is phrase what is phrase but uh, i will i will not talk about phrase in details today i will just give you a vague knowledge or uh, i will give you a uh, some sort of conception related to phrase at first let me start with a question what kind of question is given under phrase questions are usually given from infinitive phrase adverbial phrase prepositional phrase so you need to know adverbial phrase prepositional phrase and infinitive phrase i'm going to start with an infinitive phrase but in my last class i will talk about phrase in detail i will give you the definition of phrase the classification of phrase and the phrases needed for modifier part today i'd like to give you a simple discussion on phrase but before discussion i'd like to give you i'd like to give you a question i'll show you a question okay modify the verb with an infinitive phrase dash a student should render great efforts you have to use an infinitive phrase to modify should render okay now give me the answer now give me the answer dear students okay i have got you i have got the definition of adverb a phrase is a group of words having no subject and no finite verb good very good now give me the answer I'm uh, agreed with you, but I have uh, some more information regarding phrase. Now give me the answer. Those who are starting with small t will get a zero. Will get a big zero. To achieve a good result, Imtiaz Hassan, why have you started with small letter t? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shomojit Dash, Roman Sharkar, excellent. Oh my god, it's over 11 a.m. Very, very sad. Thank you, my dear students, for the answer. Now, tell me what I will now. I'd like to tell you what I will do in my next class. Dear students, phrase is a group of words. Phrase is a group of words. Okay and this group of word will work as a unit in the sentence a phrase is a group of word a phrase is a group of word that will work as a unit in the sentence okay at will and it will it will uh, convey it will convey a meaning okay a phrase is a group of words having no subject and non finite no finite verb according to ashfika a phrase is a group of words having no subject and no finite verb but it will work as a unit in the sentence and it will give us a sense or meaning okay and there are different kinds of phrases and i will talk about phrases on saturday the last online class before offline classes and uh, hopefully you will stay with me and hopefully you will stay still in dhaka college and um, today I don't want to talk anymore. Uh, thank you, for, thank you for being with me, my dear students. I'd like to welcome to my, welcome you to my next class that will be held on next uh, Saturday. And those who are uh, from different corners of Bangladesh, that is excluding Dhaka College, uh, don't be upset at all. You are requested to pay a visit to Dhaka College. We will be there for you. So, my dear students, this is all for today. Thank you. <laughs>